Personally, I haven't kept too much tabs on the UK players. Right. Um, so yeah. I, I've, I've, I've heard the name before. I know he's like he's a good Puff player, but mm -hmm. I'm not really too Ooh, sure stylistically. Puff. But already gets a great wall of pain there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, you've got the feed, do you? Okay. Well, we're still yes. having technical difficulties. Let me just but, see if okay, I can fix that. I'll, I'll just take over for that much. And then, and then now <laughs> Levingi with the counter. Oh, gets shield grab. And that could be another one. Okay. Jamie, not quite with the edge guard. Bit too close to the stage there to really go for it for Jamie. Let's Levingi back on, but still full stock lead for the puff. And now Levingi, oh, down throw forward smash. That is a conversion that honestly I don't think I've seen that often. But it looks really clean. Um, Levingi now again tries to get some control under a platform. Jamie tries to go over it. This is sort of where the matchup plays for the most part. With Falco uh, having ground control, Puff having air control. Absolutely. If that Falco can get underneath the uh, underneath the Puff, that really opens up the Puff. Oh, up. up throw rest. Even with the snipe DI, not enough to get out of that at those percents. And now, but that's a good punish though. And oh, wow. Up throw and then up air into the tech chase rest. Or not even the tech chase, just straight up rest. Takes that stock trade any day of the week, 11% versus 65. Not a problem. And now, oh, another up throw. Oh, that was so dangerous. I think you barely be eyeing that correctly this time. Now gets back, but still, Jamie in full control of this match. And this is already such a close match. Well, it, it isn't that much closer than the other matches, but it's just that Jamie is... Like, Living is considered the favorite here. So it is nice to see that Jamie is doing so well. Again with the... Oh! I I, almost, I thought he had him there. I did not think that second was going through. Now Living really needs to take care. One more stock of Puff. He's already at 105%. Any good Becker can send him off stage now. But laser, laser in the air connects to the F smash, and now last stuck for both of them. Now everything's back in it because Livingi definitely can blow up Puff as well. Is playing it safe, playing it slow. Does not want to get back air. Does not want to get grabbed here. Any edge guard is potential to him. Again, takes top platform a lot. Works with the with these full hop aerials, and now okay, there goes back. Nice stall isn't quite enough. Gets around the back air, doesn't get around the ledge grab. Jamie wins game one. Really cool, cool game. Uh, Jamie with the two back to back early rests um, really took that game and then didn't look back. Livingy tried to get it out, but not quite. And now we're looking at counterplays. So, as Falco, looking at how Livingy played that game, um, somewhat defensively, um, took his 2-3 at openings, and tried, tried to not overcommit. What do you think, like, Falco should take Puff? Because there's really two schools of thinking here, right? Right. Do you want the space? I mean, you know, if you're playing like, like you know, Wizzy over in America, you're not even afraid to go to, uh, to Dreamland or anything like that. And it depends on how much the puff can really duck and get around some of yeah. those grabs or some of the stomps or whatever. But are you trying to get over the puff or are you trying to get under the puff? Yeah. And so we're seeing FD, which I think is also an obvious counter pick. Um, sure. The yeah. lack of platforms hurts puffs, um, aerial mobility. Um, the angles get more predictable. Oof. But again, we see up throw into rest relatively early, but nice conversion. Nair down air from, from Levingi as a rest punish. Doesn't quite get the edge guard off there. Puff already far below stage, so in one of the situations where you can actually edge guard Puff, but doesn't quite get it in the jump. But now still has control, but is down a stock. And this is kind of kind of what we see, I think, a lot in these in these type of matchups with Falco versus like the slower flow of your characters, Peach Puff. Where Falco has a lot of control, but sometimes uh, struggles not to get blown up. Ooh, again, really close to getting getting just combo to death from off of one grab there. 
something that Jamie's been really good at, converting off every single grab, even though, even if living the DI is to not get rested. Gets like three, four extra hits there. Again, down through forward smash, and now Livingi has taken the lead back. And oh, this is so close. Now they're kind of fighting in the middle. Livingi tries to jump, re jump with full up nair. Jamie with the burst option dash attack. There grabs again, and. Ooh! Livingi gets around the down smash, finds the dare, and this should be it. Yes. Livingi takes back his lead. And oh, that is an interesting forward smash. Not sure if that was intentional. If so, it was very much a read. Does it again, so I'm assuming it was intentional. Finds the landing this time. Before Livingi can get his shield up. But has been getting less and less grabs, Jamie. Livingi better at like getting around the grabs by crossing up, um, landing behind Jamie's shield. And thereby have, has been getting less blown up, so he's still in a slight lead here. Again, slowing things down, laser control. That's another thing, like, he, he cannot really just force an opening in this matchup. Kind of have to, from both sides, really take what you're given. Right, you can't force the issue. Now I'm kind of just watching on the uh, on the BTS stream at the moment while I wait for the uh, the game to load uh, next game, and um, I misheard you before. I thought you said uh, Falcon, but uh, yeah, obviously it's Falcon. Oh yeah, no, no, it's Living. Yeah, player. of course, of yeah. course. I saw Raul. He was playing um, uh, a little bit of Captain Falcon. Um, he's a Fox player from from France, yeah. so you never know with these top players. Sometimes they like to bust you out a secondary, know. but, but here uh, we. I doubt that in a, in a game as close as this, um, where, yeah, you know, Jamie Jamie is, if I recall correctly, PR'd in the UK. Sure, so, sure, and it's such a strong region. So if you're PR'd yeah. or even close to getting PR'd in the UK, you're gonna be a strong player because you have so much practice with so many different um, play styles and characters. Really, they've okay. they've a they have range everything of there. Really, really, they um, do. And I that's think that's also it... another thing is like that if. Like, uh, the core character variety thing, like, I, I don't think that flies anymore nowadays. <laughs> well, um, with Slippy and... and you, yeah, you, got, you can yeah, basically yeah. play through all of Europe. And, <laughs> sure, uh, I will, sure. I will, yeah. I will say it has also become rarer to run into low and mid tiers. Yeah, um, yeah. If, it I, does. if I'm looking at my Slippy stats, I am mostly running into three matchups, and they are Fox, Falco, Falcon. Um, yeah, and, and mix in a little bit of math these days, and that's what you've got. And it looks like Lavingi's um, taken out that game there. So that's, yeah, uh, I'm fantastic. also now having problems with my game feed. So we are we are currently combating some technical difficulties. Um, but well, yeah, I think um, it's it's funny with these days with Slippy and and running into low tiers and that sort of thing because I mean, like you know, I don't mean to be mean but i feel like you know if i get in onto a luigi or i see a mario pop up it's not often they're able to really you don't really run into many good roys on on unranked do you true true <laughs> i mean i've i've actually i have my fun with with playing low tier matchups um sure, uh, sure. I, i'm i used to be a game and watch main myself for the longest time oh man um, that's that's awesome. Respect. And now I'm now a Marth main, um, but I remember oh. like back in in my um, in my home back then the hometown where I played my locals. The mm -hmm. classic matchup was going to be like we had a player who played Falco and Roy, and we had me who played Marth and Game Watch. So <laughs> a lot of the time, the counter pick we were, wars were off the charts. <laughs> a lot, a lot of the times we just had a pools matches of Roy versus Game and Watch, and then bracket matches of Falco versus Mark when Amazing. things got Amazing. a little more serious. And then if you're feeling really spicy, you go to uh, FD with uh, with Roy. But honestly, honestly, I think um, that was that was fun enough for locals. But mm -hmm. like at a tournament this size, where not only are you looking for a, a big tournament like win top eight or whatever. Even in pools, seeding matters so much to not run into people like, for example, Triff or Ice early. Right, um, right. So you, you want to kind of make really, it out of the pool without... Like, you really want to try hard in pools already. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, Especially with this again, same Jamie circuit. Especially with Slight lead in game three. Um, 
I'm not sure what happened to our game feed. Um, right, I still don't have it, but that's all right. We're uh, we're off and running. Uh, yeah, and so we're have... off. Fountain, fantastic. Yeah. And like we've already got, got a... very close game again, three stars yeah. to three. And what I'm Ooh. noticing from Ooh. from Jamie, I blocked the up smash. <laughs> that's crazy. Fantastic. Um, what I've noticed from uh, Jamie is that their their shield di is impeccable. Yeah. Like, uh, and I suppose it has to be if you're a puff. Um, yeah, you, you want to have that. You want to have a good counter game, I guess. I mean, you don't have as good as uh, options out of shield as you know a Falco does. So you you're gonna make sure that you've got the uh, the defensive yeah. game down. Now that you're looking, at, now that you're saying that, that's yeah, that's actually very true. Like, even even in the game, in at, at times when he has like the the very tiny shield, it's always right there to to block the very last bit of down air or shine or whatever's coming his way. Mm -hmm. But still, mm -hmm. uh, Livingi slowly taking taking the lead here in this game, and now again, yes. Yeah. And like, I think I think one of the things is primarily he's getting around the grabs. Yeah, um, sure, sure, sure. And it's, I mean, you know, it's a real uphill battle, especially when, you know, Lavingi's the top seed in your pool. I assume he's the top seed in the pool that he's he in. He should be. Um, so it's like, can you can you mount a comeback with the pressure? I mean, it looks like Jamie's probably going to make it out of his pool anyway. At, at yeah, this, I mean, you know, at this level. he does a really strong showing. And like, yeah, you're not, that's, that's kind of the good thing about like round robin pools is like, you're not really bound to, to win every match as much mm -hmm. as you were in double them. The like disadvantage obviously being that like often in like three way tie situations and stuff, losing one set can be harder for your bracket run. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now, as as you mentioned before, right? You, you you don't want to be running into, you know uh a triff early or 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 yeah, whomever, you or, know, uh, Kinso or whatever. Kinso, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is Kinso even in this one? I didn't even... I think he is, yes. He mm. he should be. I think he's been in almost every single one of them. Okay. Yeah. Um, getting those getting those summit points. Trying to make it to that summit summer uh summit. Summit twelve? Summit twelve. Yeah. Because we still have an invite on the on the on the line, actually. There's a um if you can make enough points between now and the end of the same circuit, uh, I think second place gets the the summit invite. So we've already got the summit invite for Pipsqueak, and then I think the second place might be getting the the other uh, invite. So current current same rankings uh, starts with Reason Frenzy, um, who let's go Frenzy. Who is so? So that would currently be the invite, but then again, we have a lot more uh, tournaments to play. So much more melee to be played, as some of the Americans might say. So much more, and like, and that's that's really one of the cool things about same um, is like already back when it was announced in in January, it was like, okay, we know every month from now on we're gonna have like a pretty much online major. Um, I kind of think on, online majors is a bit still a bit weird to me, um, where it's like it it feels like it doesn't feel like the same way where like you're running into the same venue and things. But we've mm -hmm. had we've had um, over time we've gotten better and better at like like making the experience cool for everybody. Sure, and, sure. Um, Trying to find different events. I mean. Better at, Fantastic. I mean, I don't know yeah, how much man. of uh, fate you got to you got to catch, but that I sadly didn't. I did oh, not catch man. any of fate. Sadly, I was I was away. Um... Wow, beautiful. It was beautiful. With the they had the uh, maybe you heard they had the Minecraft in the background of the commentators, oh, yeah, like yeah, a yeah. green screen. Oh wow, just so cool. So so much effort was and so much love was put into that, and, that, and those little things like that really help to make the online uh, tournaments more exciting. You know, yeah. more um, sure. more watchable and and uh, you know, not everyone can travel, and I'm sure right now everyone's keen is, to get out of the house. Honestly, that is honestly the co coolest thing about this. I think that's that's also one of the reasons um, 
like that it is so cool with the online majors is like everyone kind of that that has the internet connection for it has access um and then we just get more up, of those of those top player yeah exactly you we know. get more of those matches where usually you know in, in sweden you know we, we get the swedes and someone else mm -hmm. um so yeah and in sweden it's it's so stacked up in sweden there as well Right. But uh, next up, we're not going to have Sweden. We're going to have a Finnish player again um, versus a German player. We're going to have Rix and Rapoli playing. Um, what is very probably going to be a Fox to do. Okay. High, um, high pace. That's also always going to be fun. They're already hand warming for us. Fantastic. Two glass cannons going at each other. I'm going to try to uh, see if I can get my... Slippy working this time. Now we have... Uh...